Do you ever feel like manifestation is just another thing on your to-do list that you don't have time for? Like your spiritual practice is something that you have to do? Honestly, you're not alone because I felt that way too. Something that's really changed my relationship with manifestation is blending it into my lifestyle so that no matter what I'm doing, I'm also manifesting. I call this manifestation as a lifestyle and it single-handedly made the entire manifestation journey more enjoyable for me and I've seen my desires show up with a lot more ease. Manifesting as a lifestyle has made manifestation go from feeling like a task to something I just naturally do because it's who I am. If you'd like to learn more about this, I've created a step-by-step guide for you. I'll link it in my show notes so you can check it out. Hey love, welcome to Affirm It Express, the mini series within the podcast that's all about giving you a quick spiritual boost. In each episode, I'll share affirmations or a quick tip to help you stay in your best energy. So let's get to the good stuff and affirm it together. Hi love, and welcome back to Affirm It Express. Today, I am doing a little mini card reading for the month of June, and the card deck I used was A Yogic Path by Sahara Rose, and I absolutely love this deck because I feel like it blends both of my worlds of spirituality, Hinduism, Ayurveda, and it's so representative of who I am and my lens of spirituality that I absolutely love it. And it feels so close to home because it's a lot of the concepts I've grown up with in Hinduism and Ayurveda and yoga. That was all part of my upbringing um, as an Indian woman. And so I'm so excited to share this deck with you. If you've never heard of it before, I truly, truly love it. It's one of my favorites and it's beautifully illustrated. So I shuffled and I set the intention for this card pull of what is the message me and everybody listening to this episode? What is our message? What is our kind of guiding light for the month of June? And the card I pulled was actually of a goddess, which is Parvati. Parvati is the goddess of devotion, love, and yoga. So I'm going to read you both the upright and the reverse version of the explanations from the deck directly, and then kind of give you a little bit of my own takeaways afterwards. So the upright version says, you pull upon Parvati when you've taken immense action towards becoming your highest self. In Hindu mythology, Parvati was in love with unattainable Shiva, who was deep in the mountains, practicing yoga and detached from the material world. She knew he needed the divine feminine to bring him down to earth, but he was totally inaccessible. Instead of begging and pleading, Parvati decided to become her highest self and seek enlightenment through yoga. Her family objected, saying women cannot become yogis, but she headed to the mountains anyways, where she stood in a frigid stream, balancing on one leg for uncountable months or even years. Eventually, Shiva felt her immense energy and fell in love with her because of her strength and determination. Parvati represents commitment to practice, unbreakable willpower, and the power of self-transformation. Continue your journey towards enlightenment. Now, the reverse card message is, like a body with no spinal cord, you may have lost your grounding and become loose, floating in every direction. What is it you are committed to? A person with no commitments is like a wave with no direction. It's crucial to always have direction in life, and that direction should be pointing inwards. Spiritual development is a journey that unfolds only when you begin to walk the path. Recommit yourself to your daily practice for 30 days and watch your life slowly rebuild its spinal cord. Oh, I love that. This feels very resonant to me as well. What I took away from this is honestly just the power of devotion and commitment and practice. And on the manifestation journey, I feel like it can be kind of hard to stay committed, stay consistent and stay practice. And I think it's one of the things that I tell most of my students, most of the people I get DMs from, They say, hey, I'm so excited. I've tried everything, but it's not working. And I think that's where the power lies in your own practice. Because when you're in your practice, when you're living manifestation as a lifestyle, when you are embodying the spiritual concepts of manifestation, you kind of stop looking for the results. That's when you know you're doing it right is when the results are the second part. You feel so good. You are enjoying how good you feel 
where the results are actually so secondary. And so my invitation to you is what can you do to make your practice feel less focused on the result of receiving a 3D manifestation and more focused on how do you feel? How does it make you feel? And the consistency and the kind of the safe space that your practice creates for you. That's what manifestation has become for me. It's become a baseline. It's become my natural state of being only through that practice and consistency. And I know how hard it can be to actually commit to a practice. And my invitation is start slow, go little by little, maybe do a minute a day and you can slowly increase. And your practice can include any of the spiritual tools we talk about. I know I have full episodes on this, but really take time and look at affirmations versus meditation versus tapping versus visualization, journaling. There's so many different practices for you to embody and it doesn't have to look the same every day. That's the beauty of it. I think the biggest part of a practice is the practice and the consistency in actually showing up. So I hope this card reading is motivational and is kind of the message that you needed. And in short, my message for you is don't be afraid to stick to a practice. And maybe for the month of June, try getting consistent and finding a practice or different versions of a spiritual practice that really work for you. And if you need more help in this topic and in this area, shoot me a DM. I'm currently just working on different tools and resources to help you become more consistent in your manifestation practice. So DM me if I haven't shared about it yet, maybe it'll be ready by the time this episode is released. So I hope this is helpful and may the month of June be filled with lots of love, lots of consistency, and so many unexpected blessings. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.